You ever get ready for a trip and you have all of this and you gotta try to get it in this, your backpack? <sighs> Maybe you feel hopeless like I do right now. What's up guys, Dan here, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. So this can seem absolutely hopeless. It can seem like a daunting task, but that's why I'm here. That's why we have the channel to teach you all different outdoor skills and loading your backpack. A bushcraft backpack is one of those skills. I wanna share some tricks with you when loading these packs out. So listen, first and foremost, what you need to understand is that we are not hikers. I tell every bushcraft class this, I say, listen, do not look at what a hiker does and then say, well, that's what I need to do because you're not hiking. You're going out most likely to recreationally camp. If you're going hiking, totally different beast, okay? We are not doing that. So it's that's something that people relate in the world of bushcraft a lot or people, outsiders, I want to say, look at bushcraft and they say, well, I wouldn't hike with that. We're not hikers. So that's not what we're doing, right? So we're using different style backpacks, different style sleep equipment, all that stuff. So generally, when you're going out as a bushcraft, crafter, you're not going too far. You're doing a short jaunt into the woods, you're setting up your camp, and then you're enjoying nature around you, and maybe doing short scouts from that stationary camp, okay? So when you get all your gear together, okay, it might look crazy, and you might have a backpack that you're thinking, how am I gonna fit all this into? So that's what we're gonna look at today, how to pack it out. It's a very simple process. Now, I'm gonna give you the baseline of what I do, and then you can very easily adjust to your equipment. So we're gonna start out with something that most of us are gonna be using, and that is a wool blanket. Now, you can fold or stuff your wool blanket depending on the size of it, okay? Most, so that's number one. All right, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Number two, most bushcraft backpacks that you're gonna get that are made of canvas or oil cloth are soft. They're not gonna have any type of frame in them, okay? So what I like to tell people to do is this. You're gonna take your wool blanket, all right, depending on the size of it, and you're gonna try to fold it. Now, I'm gonna sloppily fold it, but it's gonna get the point across for this video. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna just stuff it down the back side of the backpack. What this is gonna create now is a little bit of rigidity in the pack itself, and it's gonna give a nice soft cushion against our back. That is nice and important because we're normally gonna be carrying heavier amounts of gear. So once that's in place there, now what I can really easily do is I can take things that are a little bit heavier, like my gum blanket, and I could slide that against there towards the bottom. I could take any type of cooking, tools I have, which we're gonna count our water bottle as a cooking tool because we have water in it, we boil. Maybe we have a pot or a pan, that can go here. Okay, so we have that soft section of gear against our back. We have our heavier gear now towards the bottom for weight distribution. And then all, all of our packs and bags that we have our rope and our repair kits, that stuff can just get jammed in accordingly just like that, okay? That is gonna distribute the weight and make your bushcraft pack most comfortable for you on that short jaunt into the woods, all right? So let's just assume we are going winter time or a bigger, heavier wool blanket. This is one of our bushcraft quilts, okay? So in that case, you're thinking, well, how is that gonna fit in there, okay? So rather than folding or rolling, okay, what you're gonna do at that point then is you are going to stuff, but we're still gonna use the same concept. We're gonna use the concept of taking that initial fluffy piece of sleep equipment and using that as comfort against our back and then packing around it. So, in this case, I'm gonna take our quilt and I'm gonna to begin to literally just stuff it down into the backpack, okay? The same as if we had a stuff sack, I'm gonna stuff my quilt making sure I fill the bottom corners full and the bottom very, very, very full and tight with the heavier sleep gear. Now what I generally like to do is when I get towards the top, you can see this is the top of the quilt, I start to make sure that I leave a little bit of a pocket here. Okay, so I'm gonna stuff it down the sides. And now I'm gonna leave part of this quilt exposed just like this. 
Now what that's going to create is a nice pocket inside of the bag towards the front for our heavier goods. So heavier goods again are gonna go in secondary. So we're gonna do something like our tarp. Now oil cloth tarps generally, okay, um, they're big but they're not too bulky. They fold down really, really nice. So that's the key. Oil cloth, we're gonna fold, not roll. Generally folding is gonna maximize space for that. So I can take this thing now, and again, I can work this towards the bottom of the pack, front side, okay? So we get that in there. Now at this point, gum blanket can go in on top of that just like this, okay? And then cooking gear, water bottles, rope. We're just finding spots there, repair kit, all that good stuff. So I can work all of that in. Now you're wondering, I still have this. This is gonna be my top flap. So I'm gonna just cover everything in with this. Really nice and really neat. And then I can close my bag off nicely. Now, with that weight distribution, most of it is gonna be lower center towards the back of the bag, nice and soft against our back here. So even though this bag is way heavier than any hiker may want to carry, it has all our gear and it's nice and comfortable. But don't forget, okay, if you're thinking, well, I have more than that, okay? Well, socks, clothes, shirts, stuff them in there. Don't worry too much about folding and packing like a suitcase. Think of this more as a stuff style bag, okay? So we have our stuff sack all filled, and don't forget about your haversack. Your haversack is for your immediate quick access gear, and if you have extra food or anything like that, that can go along right here. And that, my friends, really quickly, is an easy way to pack up your bushcraft bag. So utilizing the principle of stuffing your equipment, your soft sleep equipment, that is, to the back of your bag and the bottom allows ample amount of room in the front for heavier gear towards the bottom and then your bags and your pouches of all your accessory gear and food towards the top. So if you like all this, hit the like and subscribe button down below. You can also check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, lay out your gear, pack your bag, stuff it, don't feel like a suitcase, and stay in the woods.